The lovely Andrew Jones does sets all over town. The election, make sure if you haven't vote already, make sure you vote November 6th, big election. And like as soon as I say that, everybody thinks I'm voting for Obama, which I like the guy, but I'm not. I'm voting for Romney. And see, uh, see, wait, let me finish. A lot of people think I'm an asshole, but I'm not. And it was just because the way I was raised. And no, I don't mean Republican, that shit's gross. I mean, uh, I was raised on gangster rap. And nobody embodies gangster rap more than Mitt Romney. And I'll tell you how. What's the number one rule in gangster rap, huh? Anybody? Nobody. You have to say nigga, okay? And I know what you're thinking. But Jones, Mitt Romney doesn't say nigga in public. In private, he says that shit all the time. As a nigga that says nigga all the time, that nigga says nigga all the time. Mm -mm -mm. What's, what's the next thing about gangster rap? You have to have money. Nobody has more money than Mitt Romney. He has the shit in, in the Cayman Islands. I don't even know where that shit is. Do you know? Do you know where the Cayman Islands is? No. Yeah, you're right. I had to Google it, and it's very far. It's very far. And then the number one thing about gangster rap, you have to objectify women. And who objectifies more women than the Mormons, right? He has like 20 wives. He plays like he has one, but he really has 20. And this is how you know he has a bunch of wives. He has a book full of women, a binder full of women. He said it. NBA just started. NBA just started for a lot of you guys that don't know. NBA, the beginning of the NBA season is like a black holiday and everybody's white in here, so they don't know. But uh, it's like a black-only holiday, and when I say black-only holidays, I'm talking about like Kwanzaa, Black History Month, NBA Finals. Well, you know, I shouldn't come off like super racist because there is non-black holidays. It's called Father's Day. <laughs> he gets it, he gets it because, you know, they leave us. The only thing I hate about the NBA is the announcers because it doesn't matter how good uh, you're doing, the announcers always brings up some fucked up shit. I remember when Kobe Bryant scored 81 points in a game and they were like, Kobe, great job. Do you have anything to say? Well, you know, I just try to play within the confines of the game and, you know, I made it work. Back to you, Marv Albert. That's amazing. Only a year ago was Kobe in a Denver courtroom with alleged rape of a 17-year-old white girl that lost all of his endorsements and almost divorced his wife, but... Way to score those points, Kobe. Like, <laughs> that's his job, okay? Could you imagine if somebody did that to your job? Say uh, you work in, uh, you know, retail or whatever, and you made a PowerPoint and it killed it, and you guys just got the client. Your boss would come up to you, hey, Dave, really good job. Your PowerPoint was amazing, the charts and everything like that. Marv Albert, Marv Albert would be in the corner be like, yeah, it's amazing. Only a year ago, Dave got fired from his catalog company because he was masturbating to the Victoria's Secret ads in the back, but great PowerPoint, Dave. Welcome, everybody, to the stand-up special for the Stream TV. Thanks for tuning in at home, lovely audience members. Hope you're prepared to laugh.